Welcome aboard. I'm Captain Jake, and we're back for another episode of Age of Sail. Changing the music volume just a little bit. It's it's quite loud at times. Oh, uh oh well, you need to click apply to get it to work. There we go. And we're going to load from where we left off last time. I had originally thought about doing it, all this kind of admin work without being shown on screen, but then I thought it might be interesting for some, so I decided I'd go ahead and do it. I read a number of articles, and I'm no expert by any way, shape, or form as far as what to do next. So what we'll do is we will uh, give it our best shot and see how it works out. Can't work out bad if it works out at all. Okay, let's see here. Press any key. Okay, yeah, the menu I still think is a little loud. I like to have a little bit of music in the background for when I'm not saying anything, but... Okay, so we've been given command of this ship here. It's got uh, optimal ship maintenance cost of the crew. That's our total maintenance. So let's take a look at this screen what we have here. Up here we have... Well... It should tell us what it is. There it is. Number of captives. An enemy may contact you and offer an exchange. This is our funding. How much uh, for our minus our fleet currently? How much for our crew? And how much for our captives? And what that's going to cost? And our reputation points. You gain reputation as you win battles and sell trophies, etc. If you lose battles or order goods, you lose reputation. Be careful if your reputation hits zero, you will lose the campaign. No. So, let's take a look at the details of our of our ship here. It's a seventh rate brig. You can see the uh, planking for the sides, the bow and the stern, uh, the thickness, and the batteries. It has 18 six pounders. Reload time is 107 seconds, damage is 5, range is 950 yards, and uh, 27, 24, and 22. Don't know what that means. I guess that would could be possible penetration at those ranges. So, we can rename this. So, what we'll do is they suggest... Renaming it, leaving the name, but saying what it is. This is, uh, what is it? Uh, we'll say six pounders. Okay. Six pounder guns. That's an eye. Six pounder guns, and uh, what do we have here? Cruise 110. That's our optimal crew. So let's go here. What do we have? And we'll do, I guess, seventh. I think it's seventh rate. There we go. All right. And so. Tells us what our turn is, our acceleration, and what our speed is, 11.9 knots, our sails, and the weight. So here we hit the plus, and we can see if we can mount an upgrade to uh, this ship and, and what it actually costs us. So hammocks, it decreases our armor, but ups our capacity, hardening in the hull. 
again, lower capacity, structure plus 10, armor HP, optimize uh, rigging, speed, cutting sails, rudder tackle, lightweight gun carriages, sail repair kits, urgent structural repairs can be used multiple times in a battle, okay. And repair sales includes anything you need urgent sales. It's 29. Lightweight gun carriages, rudder tackle, ship speed. See, what should we add first is the big question. Uh, and expensive, however, the boost of speed may prove invaluable. Okay, max speed plus one knot acceleration. Lightweight hull decreases the good. Me personally, I don't shoot very well. I'm not going to do that. Hardened hull. Okay, and we can see what that does here. So, well, let's upgrade that. All right. So we've decreased here, we've upgraded here, that's good. Now uh, we have six pounders. We have a hundred, what do we have? The, this being older and clumsy, the Navy still considers it for use thanks to its high penetration at medium range. Okay, you can see the distance drop off. And what do we have here? Older design suitable for Navy due to affordable cost, but still clumsy and inaccurate. And penetration drops off rather rapidly. This one. Oh, we don't have any of these. We have shop, we have eight, we have do have five. We can't mount these. So we can unmount and then mount those. This ancient weapon is terrible, inaccurate, and is even worse. Ergonomics, range, and penetration of its shot aren't much better. Okay, well, we're not going to worry about that. Okay. Okay, that's showing the warship. Or, I'm sorry, just the troop ship and the trophies. We have no trophies. And show our warships. Okay. We can assign an officer. Uh, what I read was you definitely need to have an officer that has uh, the smarts. So you can see what the captain adds by this blue line here. So if we assign another officer, we're not going to look. This is a sub lieutenant. And what do we have? Rest or midshipman? Let's take a look here. Oh, this midshipman, more expensive, but he is pretty smart. Uh, this midshipman is even smarter and less expensive. Willpower. And endurance. Yeah, the other guy's got a lot more endurance. And why these guys have those, I don't know. I never read anything about what that is telling me. So this guy has not overly bright, but he can get smarter. He's way down at 12. So what should we do? Should we go for... Let's go for an average guy. Boy, he looks old. <laughs> okay. Endurance, not very good. 220 is the cheapest guy. This guy is really cheap. So let's go ahead and. Let's do this. Let's assign him. Okay. All right, now we have him assigned. And here, 
Recruitment mode, when you add new recruits, the unit's experience is decreased. You can assign people from reserves or, or order veterans for an additional cost. In the latter's case, experience won't decrease, okay? Well, we're not gonna order anything here. What do we have as far as crew? There's my man. We're gonna go for optimal crew here. Now, this one needs captain. Now he's got four pounders. Okay, four pounds. We got shop five. So he's a sloop, very fast. Well, relatively fast. So uh, we won't do anything with um, the sloop. It's a much smaller ship. Gonna be fast to move around light while it's hauled up. Nope, don't want any of this hardening of the hull. See, it's very expensive. Okay. Rudder turning speed plus. By installing additional tackles, the rudder is able to withstand more strain. This allows to turn more sharply and outmaneuver a foe. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Looks like everything is 850, so we're already at optimal crew, which is only 55. Okay. Yes, capacity is down. Okay, let's do this. Go ahead and upgrade. All right. Now we need to assign that officer, which we're going to assign that sub lieutenants. Only needs one officer. Can we assign another officer? Nope. All right. Okay. Upgrade. Okay. Now we have these. Let's look at our troop ship. Okay. That's our troop ship. Right now we got, uh, he's commanded by this guy, by a midshipman. And we have uh, Fusiliers on board. Let's see, here's where we can, how many soldiers we can add. So, efficiency. Okay, right there is where we lose our 100. going to add anything to this troop ship. But these reserves. Okay, 217. I go to 100. 50 soldiers. Efficiency goes down a little bit. Before I do that, let's take a look at these other ones here. This is our fleet. Now, here's the Admiralty. Here is um, ships that you can buy. But we're just going to stick with what we got right now. Officers. There's the second lieutenant. We can hire these guys. We left the midshipmen in charge of that, which is fine. We're gonna leave the midshipmen in charge. I watched the ratio hornblower and he was a midshipman and was in charge, so that'll work. All right, we want six pounders. We can buy six pounders, nine pounders. There's the Armstrong gun. 
Pretty good penetration. There's 12 pounders. Distance drops off. All right. Okay. See, I had six pounders on the ship, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay, so come over here. Okay, let's. Well, it's fine. What the hell? I don't know what we're going to do with them later, but what the hell? Okay, in the armory. All right, we got. Sea service. We want muskets with bayonets, which is what we've got right here. And 34 of 78. Don't have any in the shop. And all right, that's good. Take a look at the world here. Then research. Okay, basic. All right, I don't know what this means. Research, we're up to here. Fire ship, don't want that. Bayonets. Click on that. Okay, that's researching this. What am I researching here? Marine, access to Marines. Okay. Oh, okay. I got it. How much it decreases? Well, we want Marines, so let's research that. And remote access to supply wagon. All right. I want to research that. Okay. That'd be enough for now. And come over here. Uh, John Turner's career points for battle record. Okay, land battles are easy. This tell me payment is increased. Yeah, here's our luck. Ah, I got it. No. Ah, I see. Prices. Oh, career points. I got it. True. Oh, well, we're going to use them all up. Tech. Officers, when this is. Okay, well, let's do training. And what do we have here? Okay, let's apply that. All right. No clue whether this is going to help or whether it's not going to help. There's the next stage. We don't need to buy any of those. Ships are out, so let's go next. Mosquito K, Catalina. Okay, March 1780, next stage. Okay, there is an unfinished battle. Dinner for the Admiral. Spanish have taken advantage of our overstretched forces and have captured a critical supply ship, the HMS Wadpole. Fortunately, the enemy were not expecting such a swift response, and the vessel is only escorted by a pair of ships. Okay. Follow the orders. 
No peril, no glory. Don't know what that means. Follow the orders. Map. Okay. This is a sea battle. It's two ships. Now, the question is, are we going to run into ships that outmatch us? Something fierce? So it gives me one career point, gives me 13, and gives me 6,800 of spending stuff. Okay. Guess we go ahead and play. Best we can do. We don't know what's going to happen. Don't know if it's going to be good or bad. Don't know if what we did is good or bad. Don't know. Okay, March 11th, or 11 March, 1780. Spanish have taken advantage of our overstressed forces and have captured a crucial supply ship, HM, HMS Wadpole. Fortunately, the enemies were not expecting such a swift response, and the vessel only escorted by a pair of ships. Okay. Okay, only by a pair of ships. I'm going to say this is harbor. Okay, a sign removed. What is this? Oh, takes you back to the harbor. Aha! We're going to assign the two ships that we have. Okay, so... Next stage. Play. Well, we'll bounce back and forth. Learning something new. We'll have this marked, so we're going to... Okay, we can assign these two ships. Start. Okay. Captain, we have arrived as the area without any trouble. It's our merchantman, the Wadpole, is under Spanish flag with a small escort. They are attempting to reach the cover of the guns and nearby outposts. Next. Uh, we are moving to intercept them under full cell. The enemy is screening the merchantman to allow it to escape. We must take her back. Okay, next. All right, let's pause. Let's go ahead and reading the merchantman 110, 110. Okay, only 16. That's what we'll do with this guy. We are going to get him on a direct intercept course under full sail. And here. Let's and click here. Target that guy. Select the target. You, you must have the target. And anyway, it allows you to direct cannon. Fire towards the designated area. Okay, perfect. Now he going this way. There is much sail as we so okay, he's tacking back into the wind And let's go ahead and cut our sail. Cut too much. this for seconds now this guy is underneath so let's go ahead and let 
and in this way. Oh, wholly inaccurate. Under the midshipman. Pause for a second. Select him. Okay. Outside my range. But I can turn this way. Okay, should be well within my range now. Hmm. How about you fire back? See some damage here. Damn. Oh no, making more damage here. More sheets up. Oh, what's this? Of a fire? Pause. What the hell does that mean? Does that mean I mean I have a fire on board? Does that mean M fire? Okay.
Okay, oh, we got 11 crew left. I knew what that meant. All right, pause. Got him targeted, right? Yes. Now I can attempt to capture. Guessing they're gonna drive that sucker right through him. Okay. And now. Oh. Get back over to this guy. Okay, how are we doing here? Uh, let's look at details here. Our reports good. The AI control that one's. Okay, question is, do I want to, want to worry about capturing that ship? So how about that? All right, that makes an AI right now. This guy, I can go out here.
Okay, pause. What did AI decide to do? I don't want to sync him. All right, what's this say? Nope. This guy, he's going to anchor for some reason. Why is he going to anchor? Oh, you're going to let him get underneath that stupid thing, you dummy. Okay, we go grape shot and targets this and also target that. Okay, want to try to capture him. What does this say? Same speed as the targets. Well, keep close distance with the targets. Keep parallel course with the target. All right, that's what I'm doing. Look here. Sales all look the same, so let's see what happens. Thought we were supposed to get a boarding. I was supposed to get no okay did we capture him and surrendered yay now this one, let's get it over here. Hmm, I think I've seen that island before during the practice mission. Oh, let my speed down. Go, Go that way.
I don't know how I got that far away from me. Right. Don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. All oh, right, match the speed. That's what I should have hit that button to match the speed. Okay. to say now has sunk why is it sunk I captured it damn it well what's this say Affects the reloading speed, okay. All right, nine point seven. Kill the crew. Fire some more.
If I can't capture it, sink it. sail around the lands. It's just about out of range. Alright, out of range. So Okay, let's see what we have here. Alright, ports, starboard, stern, all. These, these people on land must be firing at them. Let's see where all right. All right, we're motoring right along here. And I guess we'll speed up just a little bit here. What we're attempting to do is cut them off. Stay away from this fort. Okay, we made a number of big time mistakes, but it's all part of the learning process. So, okay, what we'll do is we'll move around here, make sure we don't go into the shallows. Well, he's only got six people on that ship. We don't want to sink it. We want to capture the damn thing. But I captured the other one because he surrendered, but then it sank. I don't know if I'm, if somebody is preventing it, me from capturing it or what. So, Dick, look at the condition here. We have 75 deaths. Not good. Lost a lot of crew. A lot of crew. I was rough on the crew. And let's see, ports, starboard, bow, stern is in bad shape. Lost half the stern. And the hull is down too, wow. Yeah. 
Okay, how fast is this guy going? Okay. Going 6.1 knots. Yeah, full sails. And what are we doing? Oh, 0.8. Wow. And this guy blowing grape shots. That sure changed our speed down to nothing, didn't it? so slow uh, probably wind blocked by the island maybe okay, it doesn't matter which side we shoot from if we can get to him before he gets out of playing area which we seem to be gaining on him Okay, we'll get a little closer and then we'll cut back to default game speed. We only got six guys, so we'll do the left side. It should say port side and starboard side. We want to go with the motif here. Yeah, let's go back to the alerts. Okay. No, I'm still doing that.
be used. Okay. Uh, where's my boarding? Boarding test. Caption of Okay. Okay. All right. Now, how do I send some over? Oh, finish. Because we've captured it. Okay. Finish. Oh. Okay. A little uh, loud as far as the uh, music here. Okay, fleet strength two ships, 30 guns, 18 guns, crew 165 to 126, captured one, lost one, uh, crew. We lost 126. We lost 80. Infantry, four guns. All right. Goals. Yeah, did I get a chance to capture that one? Tried to. Draws. Eliminate enemy fleet. Okay. Victory. At least one must be fulfilled. We destroyed that one and we captured this one. Units, all right. Dunk. 66 down 72 and 7. Okay, officers. Oh, Crawford, sub lieutenant. Yay, promoted. Told you that midshipman was good. And we rescued 38 C7 and some Spanish captured. Okay. Well, there you go. That's our first after the fact battle. Okay, needs repair. So we will come back and do all of that next time since I know that we've run the length for this particular episode and we definitely need some crew. <laughs> We're below the minimum crew. So that's gonna cost us a chunk of change, lower our efficiency, but we're up to 44, so that's good. Not too bad, I guess. So let's go ahead and hit the menu here and let's go ahead and hit save. And we're gonna call this um, after battle. Okay, back. Okay. That will be it. Thanks for joining me for this episode. Like I said, no expert learning on the fly. Viewers are learning at the same time I am. And uh, I'm sure I'm making huge mistakes, but it's a very detailed and in-depth game. And announcing coming soon will be Ultimate General, the Civil War. And look forward to that. And that game is very in-depth. I've been reading about it. But we'll cover more of that when we uh, come back with that episode, the first one. So thanks for joining me. And as always, I am Captain Jake, wishing you fair winds and following seas. Until next time.